Hello, in this video I will talk about the if else statements and switch statement and I will talk about the boolean expressions. So let me write um, a code in here. Okay. So you may want to display, uh, uh, you may want to execute a statement based on a condition. For example, here uh, you may want to display A. So if you run it, so it displays A. But you may want to make it uh, conditional, based on a condition. For example, you might say if um, 5 is less than 10, then display this. So if you run it, it displays A. So if you make it 5 equals to 10, so this is false and so it doesn't display anything. But in some cases you may want to say uh, if the condition is not true then execute something else. So here if I say B Okay, it says B. So now let me ask you a question. If I say um, system out print line and in here if I say C, what is it going to display? If you say it will display BC, okay, it is right, you are correct. But how about this? If I say 5 less than 10, uh, what will it display? If you say it will display A only, then you will be wrong. So let's see. If I run it, it displays A and C. Why is that? It is because this uh, normally we put a block after the if statement and another block is after the else statement. Um, so, but it is okay not to use black if you have only one line of code. If you have more than one line of code, then you need to put um, curly braces. Uh, in this case, so after the else, there is no black, which means there is no curly braces. In this case, only one line of code belongs to else. So this one. Uh, although it looks like it is a part of the else, actually it is not. This statement is totally uh, independent from the if else statements. So if I uh, run this program, because this is true, this statement is executed and after that this is also executed, which means the C is going to be displayed anyway. Even if this condition is true or false, this will be displayed. Also, let me talk about the, um, so the nested if-else statements. So, in a if statement, uh, so by the way, it is recommended to put this in the curly brace. So here, let me open curly brace here, close the curly brace. So, in a block, it is possible to put another if-else statement. I can say, if that is the case, do this. By the way, it is okay to have an if statement without an else statement. So, this if statement doesn't have else statement. So, in here, I could just say true. So, true is, instead of saying 1 equals to 1, so 1 equals 1 is actually uh, true, but I could just say true, all in lowercase. In here I could say, um, let's say, D. So here, in this else statement, I might have another if, um, okay, another if, and this if statement 
might have else so um, in here let me say false so let, let me put um, copy and okay so I'll copy and paste copy and paste if this is false this statement will not be executed so even if I say um, e here okay and for this one I can say F so F will be so let's see if it will be executed actually um, so so let's look at the code um, okay okay so this is true so A will be displayed and we say if true yes condition is true and then display D and then when we come to else statement because if statement was true this else statement will be ignored completely so it will be skipped if I run it it displays A, D and C so this is displayed, this is displayed C is going to be displayed anyway uh, I hope this is clear to everybody um, I hope to see you at the next video have a nice day